Top Canadian light heavyweight prospect Misha Serkinov has had a busy 2010. The Tapstar product made his highly anticipated debut in January and has since compiled a record of 2-1. In June, Serkinov was defeated by unbeaten Caesar Gracie disciple Roy Boughton in his second pro fight and feels that the loss may also be a blessing of sorts. I hate that I lost. I'm not used to losing. But at the same time, I just see how people kind of shifted a little bit and I kind of like that. I don't feel that much pressure. I don't hear people talking about me all the time and I'm kind of like relaxed and I'm just doing my thing. I'm able to do my thing easier and better. And you know, I know who is there when you, you know, when you win. I know who is there when you don't win. So it's a good experience. Extreme Couture coach Sam Zakula is confident that Serkinov will only benefit from the loss and feels it's a natural part of growing as a competitor. You lose, you know, the best thing to do is to rebound, uh, learn from it, really analyze uh, everything you did correct in that fight and then uh, analyze all the mistakes you made. And you want to uh, not repeat the same mistakes in the future. And basically, he learned a couple of valuable lessons that he'll be able to carry on with them later on in his career. You know, those are mistakes he would have made at some point. You know, it's better that he made them real early and get that out of the way. Having a blemish on his record has inspired the submission fighter to be the very best he can be. And he feels that with hard work and dedication, his goals will be achieved. One of the areas the Latvian would like to target is his cardiovascular conditioning. Pretty much the main mistake was uh, I was gassed, you know, because I, I looked at the fight, I was hitting positions uh, pretty good and I was moving well. It's just, it's just cardio, you know, it's something that you got to work on, you know. Serkinov is hoping to get back into the cage before year's end, and although he doesn't have an opponent, he is confident his career is moving full steam ahead. According to Zakula, there aren't many that are willing to step up to the plate and challenge his star pupil. The hardest part is getting him his experience, you know, getting him his 10 fights, I mean, a guy like Cain Velasquez, he, he had the same problem as Misha, couldn't get any fights on lower level shows, and he had to go to the UFC after only being 2-0. If I'm some, some guy who's fighting who's got a 0-0 record, and I research Misha, I probably wouldn't want to fight him either. I think that loss showed that, you know, he's human and maybe it'll open up more doors for him, getting more opponents to fight him. But right now we're just focusing on the next fight, one fight at a time, and we'll, when the time is right, we'll know.